everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a great week, uh, closing out the week strong. Uh, hope that you have uh, witnessed and experienced a certain level of success in your endeavors and the things that you are pursuing. However, I do want to remind you that no matter what, no matter what has happened, no matter what you are currently dealing with, if you are still breathing, you're still in the fight. So get up, square your shoulders, hold your head up and push. Uh, matter of fact, that's what today's uh, topic is. Uh, it addresses those moments when you're going through the storms, when things don't seem uh, or appear to be or resemble the things that you desire or you are striving for. And it can be somewhat discouraging. I want you to understand that the storm will end. Uh, as I get ready to move into this, I want to remind you that we are right now in the middle of a process where we are offering the 30-day holistic transformation, which is an individualized 30-day program, uh, four sessions with yours truly. I am enjoying the work that I'm doing to this point. I'm inviting you guys to take uh, part of it. It is one of the ways, uh, probably if I'm not mistaken, uh, there are a lot of programs on deck, but if I'm not mistaken, it's the most affordable way to work directly with me. And I created it for that purpose, for people who could not afford the more uh, higher price tag programs, but definitely saw value in working with me. I wanted to open that door. It's 30 days and you can you will be surprised at what you can accomplish in a 30 day period. So I want you to enroll in that and initiate a process of change. Also, uh, very quickly, don't forget to look also in the description box that at the opportunity uh, to sponsor a space in my 25th book where you can pay tribute to celebrate, memorialize someone who means something to you, someone who has made an impact in your life, or maybe even something you've done for yourself. There's an opportunity to do that. I'm currently writing book number 25, and when I publish it, everyone who has sponsored space will have their uh, memorials published in that book. So on that note, I'm going to move forward. As I stated on the onset, it can be easy to become engrossed in the moment. Uh, it's something that far too often happens when people are going through adverse moments. They tend to identify with the moment. They tend to become emotionally impacted by the moment. They tend to give such gravity to the moment that they can't see beyond the moment. And when you are unable to see beyond the moment, you're unable to see the evidence of hope. See, hope is able to see beyond the moment and understand that the moment is temporary. Hope is that thing that says, you know what, if I just wait and hold on a little while longer, something good is going to happen. Hate, uh, hope is that thing that understands that no matter how dark it is right now that at some point in time the sun will come out there is never a point in, in your life where there is no hope if you're looking for it see most of the time we only see what we're dealing with we get caught up and engrossed in the moment and when you do that you lose sight of it. let me tell you something the storm doesn't last always and if you understand that then you start to understand the nature of the storm see the nature of the storm is never to destroy you the nature of the storm is never to take you out of the game the nature of the storm actually has purpose the nature of the storm is something like going into the gym when you go into the gym and you're really truly putting work in uh it hurts it burns it pushes you to the level it fatigues you but what happens when you leave the gym? You leave the gym with a smile on your face. Why? Because you understand that type of storm. You understand that I, that work I put in is going to make me stronger. It's going to get me closer to my goal of fitness and whatever that is, whether it's in uh, muscle development, whether it's in slendering down, whatever your workout is, when you put in that work and it takes you to the limit and you're hurting in that gym, on that track, wherever you're at, on that court, wherever you're at putting that work in, you know that that workout is producing something. So you don't look at the workout the same. The pain has purpose. 
I tell people all the time, when you understand your purpose, it will explain your pain. There's absolutely a purpose for what you're going through. Don't get so caught up in the storm that all you see is the storm. See, your job in the storm isn't to become engrossed in it. It's to become empowered by it. Let me explain what I'm trying to say to you. My grandfather told me a long time ago, son, you're going to be in one of three places in life. You've probably heard me tell this story many times. He said, you're either going to be going in a storm, in a storm, or coming out of a storm. Your job when you're in that storm is simple. Your job in that storm is to make sure you come out of the storm a better man than when you went in. He said, son, let me tell you something. If you can condition your mind, to engage the storm with an intent to let the storm shape you, strengthen you, challenge you to grow, and you make sure you exit the storm, a better person that entered the storm, you won't have to pursue greatness. It'll overtake you. You'll just wake up one day and you will have done great things. See, it's an understanding that you are not going to be destroyed. It feels like it. Trust me, I, I've been there. It doesn't feel good. It, 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 it's dark. It hurts. The uncertainty strikes up the, the, the desire to unleash fear. But you got to bridle the fear. You got to hold back the fear. You got to understand that things have to be done in the midst of this moment. You're not getting the movement you want right now. You're not getting the traction you want right now. You're not getting the results you want right now. And the fear will tell you to shut it down. The fear will tell you to run away from it. The fear will tell you to find something easier. The fear will have you backing down and embracing mediocrity. But you got to look at what you're going through and you got to make up in your mind that I'm not going to allow fear to dictate my destiny. So you got to understand something that that is going to require something. See, this isn't about a life of ease. Greatness is not about ease. Greatness is not about finding the easy way around. The reason a bunch of people never reach their potential is because they're taking shortcuts. They're trying to get somewhere without going through the process. And you've heard me say this numerous times. Process always precedes the prize. Process always precedes the promise. You can't circumvent the process and obtain the promise. But you got so many people trying to get around it. They're taking the shortcut, trying to get there, trying to get there without going through this. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to invest in that. I don't want to have to take this long. I don't want to read that. I don't want to have to go through this moment of of. of, of of struggle and and, and and trying hard and, and, and not knowing, I don't want to do, th I just want to get there. And what you end up doing, every time you take a shortcut, you take a little bit away from what you could have been. Every time you cut a corner, you take a little bit away from what you could have been. You, you, you're destining yourself and you're directing yourself towards mediocrity. Stop justifying mediocrity based on your pain and fear. You're going to have to Get, be, be, be prepared to go through some things. You're going to have to be prepared to, to, to stand and, and move through some things. It's not about ease. Stop thinking that you can meander and move and, and, and navigate around the process and obtain the promise. You've got to start committing to putting in the work. You got to start committing to execute the plan. You, you got to start committing to be disciplined enough to go the distance. It, 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 it's not the resources. It's good to have. It's not how much you know. It's good to know some stuff. It's not who you know, like everyone wants to tell you. It's great to have some connections. At the end of the day, what your results are going to show was how committed you were to going the distance. It's that simple. It was never about how smart I was. It was never about who I knew. It was never about how many, how much access I had to resources. It always ended up being about, was I going to fold? Was I gonna quit? 
Was I willing to shut down? I ask myself every time I take on something, I live down, <clears throat> I have an internal conversation with myself. And I say, okay, I'm about to embark on something. I'm about to make a decision if I'm going to commit to doing something. And the question is, are you willing to go the distance? Are you willing to see this through? Is there anything that can happen that will make you set this down? Is there anything that will happen that will make you let it go? Is there anything, if there's anything that I can sit up and think of that's going to make me shut down, then it's not for me. Because see, when I take on something, it's got to be bigger than any problem that I can imagine. And and, 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 and and it's got it's got to be so big. My my desire, my my need, my motivation for doing it has to be so huge. That there's absolutely nothing that's going to make me quit. So my, my mantra is always bit once I once I set out to do something, there's only two options for me. I either achieve it or I die in the process of trying. Uh, there's no middle ground for me. There's no, well, man, I gave it my best shot. No, if I'm still breathing, I'm still in the fight. I'm not going to give it. See, so many people lose because they give up right before the breakthrough. So many people lose because they give up right before the breakthrough. They work, they work and work. Then something tells them, man, you don't put all this in there. And you don't see any results. You're wasting your time. And then they quit and all they needed was two more weeks of doing what they were doing and the breakthrough was there. All they needed was two more days, even another year or two. But even if waiting another year or two seems like a lot, I can tell you from experience, the longer I wait for my breakthrough, the more magnificent the breakthrough is. You gotta start understanding that time is redeemed in the investment. So when I sit up and I put that time in, I'm not looking at how long it takes. Matter of fact, when I'm aware of the fact that, man, I've been working on this for the last three years, I'm like, man, this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge because my experience tells me the longer it takes to come, the more powerful it is when it gets here. And, I, and so I, I'm not worried about the fact that it's everybody's looking, man, you still working on? Oh, yeah, I'm going to be working on it till I quit. Look how long it took me to get my first book done. What if I would have quit? Would I be working on book 25 right now? Look how, I took, how, 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 many, how many challenges I went through getting company number one started. Now we're talking company 46 and number one is still in operation 30 years later. But what if I would have quit? Oh, I've been knocked on my butt more than my share because that's, I'm willing to get out there in the game. And part of getting out there in the game is taking the hits. But see, what I found out is if I'm not in the game, I can't win. I can sit on the sideline and play it safe. I can be a, an observer. I can be someone sitting on the sideline. I can be watching and observing and analyzing, but I can never win. In order to be a winner, I have to enter the game. And in entering the game, the first risk you take is losing. The second risk you take is getting knocked down. But that's a part of the game. Did I learn when I lost? Did I learn when I got knocked down? Did I grow from it? You can't quit. You got, got to stop justifying mediocrity with your pain and your fear. You got to tap deep inside and understand that this is going to require you reaching deep, deeper than you've ever reached before and pursuing it at a with a passion and an intent and a commitment that you've never, ever uh, executed before. But it can be done. You, there's so much out there for you in this world, far beyond anything you could ever imagine. But you're listening to the naysayers. You're listening to the random opinions of minimal minded people who are reminding you of just how hard it is. Who are reminding you of how many people fail trying to do it. Who are reminding you of who you used to be. Who are reminding you of all of the past baggage that you carried. Put that down. That's the past. We're not mortgaging our future to pay for our past. We we done what we done. We learned from it. We're moving forward now. We are about to shake things up in the world by moving forward. We are about to become all I want 
is to leave a legacy for my 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 progeny, my my grandchildren's grandchildren. I want to leave a legacy that Paul Paul came down here, saw and conquered. Paul Paul didn't fold under pressure. Paul Paul didn't get uprooted by his mistakes. Hey, cuz, glad to see you. I want my my um. I want my great 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 grandchildren and their great 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 grandchildren to know I was here. And the only way that you can do something that powerful is you've got to make your presence felt while you are here. You've got to do something other than just exist. What difference did you make in this world? Whose life did you touch? Sometimes it's not how many you touch, it's who you touch. Somebody, some people are remembered because they touched somebody that became unbelievably amazing and great. And they just, they were the person that set that flame ablaze. Some other people are known because they touched and changed the lives of everybody they came in contact with. I think about Mother Teresa. The thing is, if you don't have a legacy that will speak for you long after you're gone, you didn't live, you just existed. But if you decide that you're going to leave a legacy, it means you got to wake up in the morning and put in the work. I'm going to leave you with that. Wake up, put in the work, the storm will end. On that note, I'm out of here. As I always say, I live my life on full. So that when I leave this place, I die on E. And that's all that the, 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 the world can ask. That's all God is asking. Don't take what I gave you to the grave. That's all. That's all. That's the demand. Don't take what I gave you to the grave. You better use it. On that note, I'm out of here. Don't forget uh, to enroll in the 30-day holistic transformation. Don't forget if you want to sponsor somebody that you hold dear or that inspired you and you want their name in this next book that i'm writing right now that information to sponsor a space in the book is also down there i'm out of here you guys have an unbelievable weekend i know i will